Hi. Hi. Hey guys, long time no see. <laughs> I can't take this seriously. I literally, I don't know how we're gonna do this video right now, but we're gonna do it. Are you feeling awkward? A little bit. Just a little bit. A, a little bit awkward, yeah, definitely. I mean, you're seeing some faces you haven't seen in like two and a half years. Yeah, <laughs> around that. Yeah. Well, I missed you guys, hi. <laughs> so, you're probably confused. Well, I am too, but yeah, we're, we're all confused, like all together. So, you know, we're friends again. So, we're gonna give you the whole breakdown. We're gonna be answering questions that you guys asked before we get into the video. Like, hi. Oh, I was oh. gonna say like and subscribe. <laughs> On a real note, before we get into the video, mm -hmm. obviously, yes, we broke up. Mm -hmm like two years ago. Just because we're friends now, that doesn't change anything that's happened in the past. Yeah. And we've been friends for so much longer than before we even dated. Yeah. And I feel like we always had like a really strong friendship and obviously we went through a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. And I think a big part about growing up and just life in general, no matter what age you are, is being able to forgive. And we took two years apart. Yeah. So I've definitely healed and moved on from that situation yeah. and I know you have too so yeah, definitely I think that like just with the time that we had apart it got to the point where like both of us were feeling like why aren't we friends like we just get along we like doing the same things like we don't have to get into a relationship or like be dating we could just be friends and like it would work out better that way because our only problems that we had before like just were relating to like the relationship the breakup was real. Everything was Do real that you guys saw. people think it was saw. fake? Is no, but if they see us being friends again, they probably thought we faked it. Yeah. I mean, after the marriage prank, like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much worse it can get. But no, that was definitely not a prank. Breakup was not a prank. Everything you saw was real. We're just better off as friends. Yeah, definitely. I agree. But now okay. we're going to answer some questions. I'm done, like, being serious. I don't know. Can we introduce Carmen? This is Carmen. This is my dog, Carmen Cortez. <laughs> She says hi, everybody. I genuinely have not shared any of these with you. I know, and I'm nervous about and it. And I don't think you're gonna answer some of them, but I you won't. know, here we are. Okay, number one ask question. Can you assume what it is? Why did you break up? No. Are you guys dating again? Oh my god. No. Mm -mm. We had our run, and that was it. Yeah. No more runs. I no hate running. No more runs, definitely. How is it like being friends after the breakup? Our situation, it's been so long and our relationship was definitely like really, really, really best friends. Yeah. I feel like if you just take the relationship part out of it. I guess the way I would put it is like if you had like a childhood friend or something that you stop talking to and then you become friends again, it's like you get to update each other and like tell each other what you're doing and then you get to be there to like support each other and it's like kind of like becoming friends again in like a different way. Like, I feel like it's been so long since everything, so my life is so much different, your life is so yeah. much different, and it's kind of like weird, I just feel like we both are more like grown up and like yeah. doing our own thing, like Definitely. I'm out doing my thing, you're out doing your thing, but we're just there yeah. to be good friends to each other. Nick, I have a question for you. <laughs> Did you move on? Like, have you had other relationships? Um, like not relationships, but like situationships, yeah. Really? You know about them. I know. Why are you saying really? Like you're surprised. Okay, next question. Let's why are you? Why are you? Under the bus? Why are you? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone knows I had another relationship. Okay, well then let me update you guys. I didn't have. I wasn't dating anybody. I was. I probably had like two people I talked to. So. What's dating? I don't even know. Like, is that before your boyfriend girlfriend? No, dating is when your boyfriend and girlfriend. No, dating is when you're going on dates. That confusing. You guys were either talking, dating, We were talking, friends. dating, they were like, What happened to the stalker? <laughs> so once we announced the breakup, things were kind of like offline for us. So I don't think anybody was really like, like we weren't posting together where we were or what we were doing like we were before. So I think that after that, they stopped. We don't know why. Maybe it was because we broke up. They wanted both of us. Like, I don't know. But, but it's weird. It's still like, very this... scary. Like everything was... Very terrifying. No, it was. It was. And it terrifying. still is. 
yeah, honestly. It was such, it's so weird that like after the breakup, like it kind of stopped and then I forgot about it. But then when I think about it, I'm like, that is one of the scariest times. Like my entire life is dealing with that weirdo. <laughs> Story times are still up. Like if you want to go watch them. <laughs> oh, you want to talk about things that are still up or not? Why do we delete our songs off Spotify? I didn't do that. <laughs> I didn't I did. do that. I did it. Yeah. But you agreed to it. Who? You did. When? We texted. Oh. Certain things just don't need to be out on the internet forever. <laughs> yeah. And that was one of them. But okay, but why is the music video still up? <laughs> <laughs> you wanna know why the music video still up? Cause he's but <laughs> It's on them. That's true. That's true. But after we broke up, I just kind of felt like having the songs on streaming platforms was kind of unnecessary. And it was yeah. my decision, like not my decision, we both yeah. agreed to it. Who's yeah. gonna like keep up with a song with an ex? Like you just can't, like it doesn't really work. But if you want to go watch the music videos. Yeah, honestly the music videos, like I don't know many music videos that are better. To no, be honest. genuinely, like, literally... they're some of my favorite music videos. <laughs> like they ate, okay. How did you guys meet again? I don't know, Sloma, let me tell the story. Me? Yeah. But Let's see if she tells it right. Right? Yeah. Um, okay. Here we go. We did a meet and greet together after <laughs> we broke up. And That's the craziest thing ever. Like, what happened there? <laughs> like, who at Playlist was like, let's keep their meet and greet going? So it's like, like, like impossible to become like a featured creator with a meet and greet at like these type of events. It was so like it was the coolest like the thing. biggest accomplishment. And I was on a panel and we we're with other couples. Why are you looking at me? Yeah. We're at an event, and the first time we like spoke, <laughs> I like said hi to everyone at the table that he was at, because they all came up to me. Can you say that again? I was rolling my eyes. Like. <laughs> and no matter what you go through, like I genuinely had so much care for you still, because you were such a big part of my life. Yeah. And I never purposely want to be mean or like hurt your feelings. So I said hi to everyone at the table and you kind of just like looked down because yeah. I could tell you were not going to say hi to me. But I genuinely felt in my heart, I'm like, I'm just going to be so mean if I don't say hi to you. And I genuinely well, also, don't have a she was at this to. event with her boyfriend at the time. So it's like, do you? Yeah, she I came just... up and she said hi and like it made me feel really good. Like after, I was like, oh, just go and say hi. It'll probably make the other person feel better because it, it did for me. So I don't know. <sighs> Yeah, I can't, I can't, I can't, no. Huh? Oh no, this is so weird, but like, so she sent me a text, but it was kind of like exactly like what I was feeling. So I was in New Jersey and I was sitting with my cousins on the balcony. Right before she texted me, we were talking about like how I could become friends with you again. You didn't know really? this, but like you literally- You never told me this. And I n never like showed text, but like I literally freaked out. I like opened the phone. I was like, guys, no way. Like we were just talking about it. And like everybody was like, what? They were like, you should text her or like say something. But I wasn't sure on like my thoughts and exactly what to say yet. So I couldn't just like text you. But then you sent a text exactly like with what my thoughts were, which were just kind of like we, if you would want to reconnect, like I would because I missed like our friendship and not like the relationship aspect. Yeah. So like, and I want to clarify, I reached out to him when I wasn't in a relationship. Like reaching out to your ex while you're in a relationship is no. yeah. You actually mentioned that was a red flag in my YouTube video. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was out of a relationship. Wanted to clear that. I just basically said I still care about you, and I don't want you to think I have any hate for you because I don't. I literally don't have to respond to this text. I know it's out of the blue, but I just wanted you to know that I'm cool with you from my side. Oh yeah, that's exactly. Basically, just going into the new year. I don't want to have like weird. Yeah. You don't want to be want. like, you don't want to have bad blood with someone that you actually got along with. And now we're just good friends. Yeah, exactly. That was like the end of a storybook. Let Wait, us know what you guys out. think in the comments down below about this situation, about you seeing both of our faces on the same screen together. Yeah, d I hope this cleared up yeah. some of the confusion or questions or and just anything you guys have. Just forgiveness, part of growing up and things change in life and I don't think it's good to hold grudges against anyone. You don't have to be super cool with them, yeah. but yeah, I missed our friendship. Me too. Did you actually? Ah! That was basically okay. it.
Well, maybe this we'll was fun. Maybe we'll see you guys again. Yeah, maybe know. we'll chat again sometime soon. I don't know. <laughs> maybe we can have another play date. Yeah, let's do it. All right, love, love you guys. Bye.